sometimes you wish that things are completely the way around because now this game in Groningen, if you compare it with the, week, the, the game last week in Den Bosch. Yeah, no, I mean, of course, it would have been nice to have this result last week. Um, but I guess, you know, you can't be, can't be choosers. The beggars can't be choosers. So um, obviously we would have loved to have won that game last week, but I think it's just as exciting that we're off to a good start in the DBL. You know, that's one of our top competitors in this league. And with the slate being wiped clean from the last time we played them, um, it's, I think it's really exciting that we just got off to a good start. What, what do you think, what made the big difference in this game? Because the in intensity of Den Bosch was, lit, but was much lower than last week and you were, as a team, probably more focused. Yeah, I think that was the biggest difference was our focus was um, really taken up a notch. We, our attention to detail on defense, um, what we wanted to do on certain actions that they run, um, it was all heightened a lot. And you know, that also comes when you play a team three times. You know, like I think they know a lot of our actions, we know a lot of their actions. And uh, because of that, it made us it made it a lot easier for us to lock into what we have to get done. Uh, looking at the whole situation with the corona and stuff like that, night clock, things like that. How do you, how do you deal with it? Are you still comfortable, feeling okay here? Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable. Um, Kroningen is a great city, so it's it's easy to, you know, I don't I don't feel like I'm too far away from home. I don't feel like I'm in some like foreign land that I'm not you know I'm not comfortable with. Um, it's definitely a bummer though not to be able to go out and enjoy the city. Um, to its fullest extent, um, you know, there's a lot of time where the, our number one goal is not to get coronavirus, you know. Um, so a lot of it's spent just making sure that we're not interacting with people outside of our little bubble. Um, so, you know, it's it's tough, but I think every basketball player is going through it right now. So it's, it's not an excuse. Let, let, uh, let me promise you that when everything's open again, Donut TV will take you into the city and we're going to watch all the nice places in Groningen. That sounds awesome, man. I can't wait. I've, I'm, I really think the city is uh, is pretty incredible, so I, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Coach, something completely different than last week, the game against Heroes. More awareness on defense event, uh, more sharpness in the beginning of the game, more physicality, and this was the key to have, um, I would say, um, good shooting percentage. You know, It has to start with defense and responsibility of all players. Um, and I think that was a difference maker. Uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, we still need to learn how to keep our emotions under control when we are up by 15 and don't get some calls. Talking about emotions, you got a technical foul? Yes. And um, this is my tool. This is my tool of work and I have right to use it and I will continue to use it. But uh, we as a team need to have the emotions under control when to make foul, when not to make foul, when we don't have the criteria in our favor so I think it's on us it's just a learning process and I think we're going to get better at it but when we look back at the game last week like uh, Van der Mars 30 points is that maybe a game like that you have once in a lifetime because now it was a completely different for him you know every player has a game like this in his career you know uh, we call it the birthday game so uh, Mayfield also had a birthday game last week and they, they were shooting uh, well you know and, um, but our job is to make it difficult for them. I think today we made it more difficult for them than the last week. So physicality was there, even though many players are struggling with some uh, minor injuries. But we show that we have pride and uh, that we want to play better than we did. We just had Will Morton for the camera, he, a rookie. Yeah. He is very enthusiastic still about the city and everything that's going around here in Groningen. How, how uh, satisfied are you, are you about him? About uh, Will? Will. I think for a rookie, he understands where he is, uh, that he's in one uh, learning process. And uh, for, for f this is the most important attribute that you need to have as a rookie. Arrogance and um, I know it all attitude uh, is not going to get you far in Europe as a pro. And he, ha he has completely different attitude. His eyes are open, his ears are open. He invests a lot in the working process, in the learning process. Because you know how it is in uh, NCAA colleges, most of the time players are playing in under the same system for four years. And then suddenly you have to jump into a comp something completely different. And I think his adaptation process is really going well, really going well. And you obviously see that f as many young players, you can expect some up and downs. But he needs to understand and he really understands his role. And I believe that he knows that there are still many things to improve and we're going to keep on working and investing in him. Next Saturday, have you been in uh, Weert? No, I haven't been in Weert.
What do you think about Wirt? I will tell you when I see it. Okay. I think that we... John James, you were struggling with a lot of problems last couple of weeks, maybe months with your back. And then last week we saw you playing against Heroes in Den Bosch and it looked good. Yeah. It looked great. Yeah. How does it how does it feel for you? I feel good. Uh, I think these, um, unfortunately, I had took uh, some hits in my back and stuff like that, and it's just caused a lot of pain. But just in the last couple of weeks, I've been feeling pretty much 100%, and uh, the medical staff been working with me a lot and the physios, but it feels great. So you, you, you can play without pain right now? Yeah, I mean, you can see in my game that I do play physical, so with a lot of bumping and a lot of hitting, but I'm playing without pain right now. Sometimes in the games of Heroes, even today, it looks a little bit like resting. Um, I don't know what to say on that, but we're a physical team. I'm a physical player. I need to make my, my presence felt, so uh, I'm just trying to do whatever I can do to help the team. If it looks like wrestling, then by all means, I got to do that. <laughs> it's not a contact sport at eh, basketball. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, and what made the big, biggest difference between the game last week against Heroes and today? Um, well, I don't want to discredit them. They are a good team, but I think we need to focus on us as a team. And that's what we've been preaching. That's what coach been preaching. But the players on the court, we just have to be smarter and, and just play our style of basketball. I think we have a, a pretty good team, and I think everybody has to stay focused for 40 minutes. And we showed that for maybe 30 minutes tonight, and we got to keep improving on that. But I think tonight the big difference was we, we played and we fought hard pretty much the whole game. And down, now during the lockdown, all things are going around now. It's it's about nine. We should be at home right yeah, now. Yeah. How are you doing? How how's Groningen? Probably you've never seen anything about it uh, uh, from it uh, right now. But how are you doing? Um, in these circumstances, we we doing the best that we can. I think uh, it's a difficult time for not only the rural, but us us as players. But I think we come here every day, and uh, between the players, like we we talk a lot. If we come here, we try to hang out and. We know that each player maybe misses his family and his loved ones, but we try to do the best to just stay in communication with each other and to keep our spirits high to make it easier for us to do our job the best we can. Well, Juwan, it's great to see you play. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, it's not just me. It's my teammates. We push each other hard, and um, that's all I can say. Like we, we push each other hard. The coach pushed me hard, and I want to I wanna do what I can to help us win and, and hold a trophy at the end. But we got to take it step by step, game by game. So I'm glad we got the win tonight. Last question, Saturday, Weird. Ever been in Weird? No, I've never been there. Um, <clears throat> all I can know is we got to come in here and um, tomorrow and the next days watch video, practice, and hopefully we can put ourselves in a position to win.